Time now for news from the left. First up, viral video shows a now fired professor at a New York college flipping out on a group of pro-life students who set up an information booth inside the school building. Take a look. You're not educated. This is propaganda. What are you going to do? Like anti-trans next? Is that what you're going to do next? I mean, no, we're, we're talking about abortion. This is This is violent. You're triggering my students. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You're, no, you're not. Because you I'm can't sorry. even have a baby. That's so you don't true. even know That's what true. that is. That's you don't even know what this is. Get this out of here, bro. Ah, it's your terrible human being of the day. Shaleen, Shellian, I don't know, Shellian Rodriguez, an art professor at Hunter College, claiming that the group was violent while she screamed at them and tossed their pamphlets. It happened earlier this month, but then this morning, a New York Post reporter and photographer showed up at her Bronx apartment to ask about it. And evidently, Shaleen put a machete to the reporter's neck and threatened to chop him up. And she's the one that said that pro-life readings were violent. Huh. Post reports when they both left the building, the woman then chased them down the street with the machete right through the Bronx in the middle of the day, kicking the reporter in the shins before she ran back to her crummy little apartment. Just hours ago, the college confirmed that this woman was fired, writing in a statement, Hunter College strongly condemns the unacceptable actions of Shalin Rodriguez and has taken immediate action. Well, finally, the good guys win one. What a wacko. Also in New York, Democrats have officially changed the narrative on the influx of illegals flooding into the city and straining all the resources, the city and the whole country. If you ever thought this was about asylum, I mean, come on. Today, Governor Kathy Hochul tweeted out, asylum seekers currently in New York are ready to work and employers are ready to hire them. We need a special federal work authorization to make it happen. It was always about cheap labor and now the libs are ready to eviscerate Wages in a country with rapid inflation. Wages were, you can't get enough money to survive. Well, those wages are about to go down quite a bit. The good news is all those rich, white, liberal New York families and L.A. families and Boston families, well, they will be able to find much cheaper au pairs and landscapers, especially in New York here, where we're going to have like 50,000 migrants that are just ready and willing to work for, what, 10 bucks an hour? Next up, here's how the ladies on The View reacted to Tim, Squ Tim Scott's announcement that he's running for president. Check out Joy Behar with the most ridiculous statement of the day. He's one of these guys who, you know, he's like Clarence Thomas, black Republican who believes in pulling yourself by your bootstraps, rather than, to me, understanding the systemic racism that African Americans face in this country and other minorities. He doesn't get it, neither does uh, Clarence. Right. And that's why they're Republicans. There are also two black men that pulled themselves up by their bootstraps and created a successful life for themselves, just like millions of other black men and women in this country. Not that Joy Behar notices any of that because she's got her head so far up her butt. A white woman declaring that Clarence Thomas and Tim Scott have no idea what it's like to be a black man in America. It's as good as it gets. Next up, just yesterday, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos announced he was getting engaged to this Lauren Sanchez woman. I don't do a lot of pop, pop culture stuff, but this one just is the worst. I, I don't understand how this guy can be smart enough to start Amazon and this stupid in every other regard of his life. It turns out his new fiance has snagged a pretty great deal after her last divorce. And I'm sure she's in it only for the love. Uh, according to the New York Post, her ex-husband gave her the marital home that they lived in after they got divorced, after she cheated on him with the richest guy in the world. <laughs> the house is worth 10 million bucks. He had to give her the house. You screw around with Jeff Bezos and then leave your husband for him. And then the court rules that you got to give her the house. She's going to own Amazon or at least half of it in three years. And that's being generous to Bezos. I mean, I don't even think he's going to make it that long before Lauren Sanchez <laughs> owns Amazon. And then she'll have that other house. She'll probably keep her extra Costco toilet paper there or something like that. The divorce law is horrifying.